In this video, we're going to be experiencing some seriously mind-bending encounters with the strangest living things on our planet. And yes, these wacky creatures are absolutely real. From the Potu bird, a master of disguise that will make you question reality, to the African giant that looks like it's got a shoe on its head, let's get started with 20 weird animals that will give you chills. Number 20, Potu bird. As promised, first up we'll be exploring the enigmatic and intriguing world of the Potu bird. This creature might be the strangest living thing on our planet, and again, yes, it is real. The Potu bird is a unique species found in Central and South America. With its distinctive appearance and mysterious behavior, this bird has captivated the curiosity of bird enthusiasts and researchers alike. One of the most striking features of the Potu bird is its exceptional camouflage. With its cryptic plumage and large round eyes, it blends into its surroundings. It resembles a broken tree branch or an extension of the bark. This incredible adaptation helps the Potu bird evade predators and remain virtually invisible during daylight hours. The Potu bird is primarily nocturnal. Under the cover of darkness, it emerges from its roost and embarks on its quest for food. Unlike many other birds, the potu doesn't rely on fast flight or sharp talons to capture prey. Instead, it employs a sit-and-wait hunting strategy, like a true ninja. Perched on a branch, it remains motionless, relying on its excellent vision and silent flight to detect and snatch up insects, like moths and beetles, right out of the air. One of the most mesmerizing aspects of the potu bird is its haunting vocalizations. During the breeding season, the male potu emits a series of low, booming calls that resonate through the night. These vocalizations serve as a territorial display and attract potential mates. The potu's eerie calls are a testament to the diverse array of sounds found in the avian world. This is one weird bird. Number 19. Shoebills the shoebill is a fascinating bird that resides in the wetlands of East Africa. This bird derives its name from its distinctively large and peculiar bill, which resembles a shoe or clog. The bill's length can reach up to 9.8 inches, making it one of the largest bills among all bird species. Despite its massive size, the bill is surprisingly lightweight allowing the shoebill to move swiftly and effortlessly through its wetland habitat. Growing to an average height of 4.4 to 5 feet, the shoebill is a formidable bird. Its wingspan can expand up to 7.7 .7 feet, enabling it to glide gracefully enough through the air. However, it's primarily adapted for life in the shallow marshy areas where it finds its favorite prey. The shoebill is an apex predator in its habitat, and its diet consists mainly of fish. With its keen eyesight, the bird patiently waits in the water, motionless, until a potential meal swims within range. Then an astonishing display of speed and precision happens. The shoebill strikes with its powerful bill, capturing its prey with efficiency. While fish constitute the shoebill's primary food source, it also preys on other aquatic creatures, like frogs, reptiles, even small mammals. Its long bill and sharp edges are perfect perfectly suited for gripping and swallowing slippery and wriggling prey. The shoebill's behavior during courtship is also captivating. Males engage in elaborate displays to attract females, showcasing their size, bill, and vibrant plumage. Once a pair bonds, they establish a nesting territory, typically constructing their large, sturdy nests out of vegetation and tall reed beds. However, despite its intriguing characteristics, the shoebill faces several conservation challenges. Habitation loss and degradation, as well as hunting, pose significant threats to its population. Efforts are underway to protect its wetland habitats and raise awareness about the importance of conserving this bird. And why not hit that like button and subscribe to our channel? Otherwise, flocks of shoebills might just end up invading your home. Pretty terrifying. Number 18. Giant Snakehead Fish in the freshwater rivers and lakes of Southeast Asia, a fearsome predator known as the giant snakehead fish lurks. Scientifically referred to as Chana micropelatus, this formidable species has garnered attention for its size, strength, and predatory prowess. The giant snakehead fish is aptly named due to its elongated body and snake-like appearance. It can reach lengths of up to 4.9 feet and weigh as much as 66 pounds. Its long, powerful jaws are filled with sharp teeth 
perfectly designed for capturing and consuming its prey. As an apex predator, the giant snakehead fish holds a prominent place in the aquatic food chain. Its diet primarily consists of fish, crustaceans, and even small mammals or birds that venture too close to the water. With its exceptional camouflage abilities, this fish can lie in wait, blending seamlessly with its surroundings before striking with astonishing speed and agility. The reproductive behavior of the giant snakehead fish is equally fascinating. During the breeding season, males construct large nests made of vegetation, creating a safe haven for the eggs. Once the nest is prepared, females lay hundreds or even thousands of eggs, which are guarded fiercely by the male. He tirelessly defends the nest, ensuring the survival of their offspring until they hatch and can fend for themselves. Although prized by some anglers for its fighting spirit, the giant snakehead fish has also raised concerns in certain regions. As an invasive species, it poses a threat to the native ecosystem ecosystems it inhabits. Its ability to adapt to various environments and reproduce rapidly has led to ecological imbalances and a decline in native fish populations in some areas. Number 17. Velvet Worms In the hidden corners of tropical forests and damp soil, another fascinating creature known as the velvet worm thrives. These ancient animals possess a unique combination of characteristics. Despite their name, velvet worms are not actually worms, but rather belong to a distinct phylum known as Onychophora. They have a soft and elongated body, often resembling a worm or a caterpillar. Their velvety appearance is due to the numerous tiny bristles that cover their segmented exoskeleton. One of the most intriguing features of velvet worms is their hunting mechanism. Using a unique method called splitting, these creatures incapacitate their prey. They secrete a sticky and glue-like substance from specialized glands, which they propel towards their unsuspecting victims. Once trapped, the velvet worm approaches and injects enzymes to begin the process of digestion, before finally consuming its paralyzed prey. Velvet worms exhibit a diversity in their species and habitats. They can be found in various regions across the globe, from rainforests of South America to the forests of New Zealand. These resilient creatures have even managed to adapt to arid environments, demonstrating their ability to survive in different ecological conditions. Although velvet worms may not be the most well-known creatures in the animal kingdom, their uniqueness and ecological importance cannot be understated. They play crucial roles in various ecosystems, acting as decomposers and helping to regulate populations of smaller invertebrates. Number 16. Venezuelan Poodle Moth the Venezuelan poodle moth was first discovered in 2009 by zoologist Dr. Arthur Anker. Its somewhat silly name stems from its striking resemblance to a fluffy poodle dog. The moth's body is covered in soft, dense hairs, giving it a fuzzy and adorable appearance. One of the most intriguing aspects of the Venezuelan poodle moth is its vibrant coloration. It boasts a combination of pastel hues, including shades of white, gray, and light brown. This coloring allows it to blend seamlessly with its surroundings, providing effective camouflage and protection from potential predators. Despite its eye-catching appearance, little is known about the behavior and the life cycle of the Venezuelan poodle moth. Scientists are still working to unravel the mysteries surrounding its habitat preferences, feeding habits, and reproductive processes. Due to its rarity and limited research, it remains an enigmatic and fascinating subject of study. Venezuela's tropical rainforests provide a haven for countless undiscovered species, emphasizing the need for conservation efforts to protect these invaluable habitats. Number 15. Gariel in the waters of the Indian subcontinent, a crocodilian species known as the gharial reigns supreme. With its long, slender snout and distinctive appearance, the gharial stands as an extraordinary creature with a rich evolutionary history. The gharial is easily recognized by its elongated, narrow snout, which sets it apart from other crocodile species. This specialized snout is perfectly adapted for its primary diet of fish. With its powerful jaws and razor-sharp teeth, the gharial swiftly captures its prey underwater, ensuring a steady supply of snacks. One of the most remarkable features of the gharial is its impressive size. Males can reach lengths of up to 20 feet and weigh around 2,200 pounds. Females are slightly smaller, but they have an imposing presence still. 
Their long, slender bodies allow them to glide effortlessly through the water, making them awesome swimmers. The Gharial's population is primarily concentrated in the river systems of the Indian subcontinent, including the Ganges, Brahmaputra, and Indus rivers. These waterways provide the ideal habitat for the Gharial's hunting and breeding needs. During the breeding season, males develop a bulbous growth at the tip of their snout, called a gara. This vocalization chamber amplifies their hissing calls, which plays a vital role in attracting females. Males also engage in head slapping displays, where they raise their heads high out of the water and forcefully slap them back down, creating a resounding splash. Number 14. Horseshoe Crab Horseshoe crabs possess a hard exoskeleton and a distinctive horseshoe-shaped carapace, from which their common name is derived. These creatures have remained relatively unchanged for millions of years, earning them the reputation of being living fossils. They can grow up to two feet in length, and they're often recognized by their domed carapace and long, spiky tail, known as a telson. One of the most unusual aspects of the horseshoe crab is their reproductive behavior. Each spring, during high tide and under the light of the full moon, these creatures Creatures gather in large numbers along the shores. Females emerge from the depths and lay their eggs in the sand, while males latch onto their backs and fertilize the eggs externally. This synchronized mass spawning event, known as the horseshoe crab mating frenzy, is a spectacle to behold. Horseshoe crab mating frenzy sounds like a clickbait video title, but that's what the scientists are calling it, so who are we to argue? Horseshoe crabs play a crucial ecological role as well. Their feeding habits help maintain the health of coastal ecosystems. They primarily feed on worms, mollusks, and other small invertebrates, using their strong jaws to crush and consume their prey. In turn, their feces provide nutrients that support the growth of plankton and other organisms in the food chain. Another characteristic of horseshoe crabs is their extraordinary immune system. Their blue copper-based blood contains a substance called Limulus amoebaclite lysate, aka a LAL, which has proven invaluable in biomedical research. LAL is used to test for bacterial contamination in medications and medical equipment, as it clots in the presence of endotoxins, alerting researchers to potential hazards. This amazing crab is a real box of mysteries still waiting to be fully unraveled. Number 13. Black Devil Anglerfish in the dark depths of the ocean, a creature with a terrifying appearance roams. Meet the black devil anglerfish. This fish resides in the deep sea regions across the world's oceans. With its unique adaptations and predatory strategies, the black devil anglerfish has earned a fearsome reputation and a name. The most striking feature of the black devil anglerfish is its menacing appearance. Females possess a large gaping mouth filled with long needle-like teeth that are perfectly designed to capture and hold onto prey. They also sport a bioluminescent lure called an illicium on their forehead. This glowing appendage resembling a fishing rod with a luminescent bait entices unsuspecting prey to come closer. As a predator, the black devil anglerfish has adapted to the harsh conditions of the deep sea. Its dark coloration aids in camouflage blending seamlessly with the surrounding darkness. With a plump, brown body, it can consume prey that's often larger than itself. Number 12. Mudskipper the mudskipper's most distinctive feature is its ability to breathe air. With specialized gills, these fish can extract oxygen from the air and supplement their respiration while out of the water. This adaptation enables mudskippers to survive in oxygen-deprived mudflats and even venture into small terrestrial territories. The most famous behavior of the mudskipper is its ability to move on land. Using their pectoral fins, which are adapted for walking, they propel themselves across mud or sandy surfaces with a series of skips or hops. This form of locomotion allows mudskippers to explore new territories, search for food, and evade predators. When submerged in water, mudskippers exhibit excellent swimming ability. They use their powerful tails and pectoral fins to navigate through the shallow waters and hunt for prey. Their diet consists of small invertebrates, such as insects, worms, and crustaceans, which they detect with their keen eyesight and capture using their protrudable mouths. Number 11. Star-Nosed Mole 
In the damp subterranean world beneath our feet, the star-nosed mole lives as a truly fascinating creature. This small mammal possesses an adaptation that sets it apart from all other moles and captures the imagination of scientists and nature enthusiasts alike. The most striking feature of the star-nosed mole is its distinctive snout, adorned with an array of fleshy appendages. The snout consists of 22 hairless, fleshy tentacles arranged in a star-like pattern, giving the mole its name. These tentacles known as rays are highly sensitive and packed with sensor receptors, allowing the mole to navigate and explore its underground habitat. The star-nosed mole's specialized snout serves multiple purposes. Its main function is for tactile perception and rapid information processing. Using its sensitive tentacles, the mole can detect and identify prey items like worms, insects, and small invertebrates with astonishing speed and precision. In fact, the star-like structure can move independently, enabling the mole to simultaneously process multiple sensory inputs. This adaptation provides the star-nosed mole with a remarkable advantage for its foraging pursuits. In a matter of milliseconds, it can determine if an object is edible or not, allowing it to effectively capture prey in its dark underground tunnels. The mole's sensory abilities have even attracted the attention of researchers studying tactile perception and neural processing. The star-nosed mole's appearance and sensory capabilities make it a true marvel of the animal kingdom. Number 10. Narwhales in the Arctic waters of the North Atlantic, a legendary creature known as the narwhal, often dubbed the unicorn of the sea, navigates the icy expanses of water. With its mysterious tusk and captivating appearance, the narwhal has captivated the imaginations of people throughout history. The narwhal is a medium-sized toothed whale that possesses a long spiraled tusk protruding from its upper jaw. This tusk, which can grow up to 10 feet in length, is actually an elongated tooth that's predominantly found in males. It's composed of a hard, ivory-like material. The purpose of the narwhal's tusk has long been a subject of scientific speculation. While its exact function is not fully understood, it's believed to play a role in communication, sensory perception, and possibly even as a tool for foraging. With their mottled grayish-brown bodies and rounded heads, they possess a certain charm that sets them apart from other whale species. They have a streamlined shape that allows them to navigate through icy waters with agility and grace. They're social creatures and they typically travel in small groups, known as pods, which can consist of a few individuals or several dozen members. Within the pod, they engage in various behaviors, including vocalizations, breaching, and synchronized swimming. Narwhals also exhibit impressive diving abilities, reaching depths of up to 5,000 feet as they search for their preferred prey of fish, squid, and shrimp. The narwhal's arctic habitat poses challenges for its survival. As sea ice diminishes due to climate change, narwhals face changes in their environment, impacting their access to food and dynamics of their ecosystem. Conservation efforts are crucial to protect this iconic species and the delicate arctic ecosystem it calls home. Number 9. Pangolin Pangolins are known for their scales, which cover their bodies from head to tail. These scales, made of keratin, provide protection against predators and give the pangolin its characteristic armored appearance. When threatened, pangolins roll themselves into tight balls, using their scales as a shield. There's eight species of pangolin, four found in Africa and four in Asia. They vary in size, with the largest species reaching lengths of up to 3.9 feet. Pangolins have long, sticky tongues that can extend up to 16 inches, allowing them to probe termite mounds and anthills in search of their preferred prey. As insectivores, pangolins primarily feed on ants and termites. Their diets supplemented with other small invertebrates like beetles and larvae. With their sharp claws, they dig into mounds and decimate termite colonies, playing a crucial role in balancing insect populations and maintaining ecosystem health. Pangolins are solitary creatures, venturing out mainly at night in search of food. They have poor eyesight, but they possess an excellent sense of smell. It allows them to detect prey and navigate their surroundings. When not foraging, pangolins take refuge in burrows or climb trees, relying on their prehensile tails for stability. Tragically, Pangolins face immense conservation challenges. They're highly sought after for their scales and meat, primarily for traditional medicine and as luxury food items. This illegal trade has led to a sharp decline in pangolin populations, making them one of the most critically endangered groups of mammals. Number 8. Maned Wolf 
The maned wolf has long, slender legs and a distinctive reddish-brown fur coat. It's well known for its mane-like fur, which extends down its neck and back. This mane serves as a display of dominance during confrontations with other maned wolves and may help with visual communication. Although it shares physical similarities with wolves, the maned wolf has several distinct characteristics. It has a slender build, resembling a large fox rather than a typical canid. It also has a distinct vocalization, emitting a high-pitched barking sound that sounds like a bird call more than a wolf's howl. The diet of the Maine wolf consists mainly of fruits, like the juicy and nutritious wolf apple, supplemented with small mammals, birds, and even reptiles. This omnivorous diet sets it apart from other canids as it consumes a lot of plant material. This adaptation is thought to be related to the availability of prey and the seasonal abundance abundance of fruits in its habitat. The maned wolf is a solitary creature, with individuals marking their territories using urine and scent markings. While they may cross paths, they prefer to maintain their distance from each other. This behavior contributes to their low population density and relatively large home ranges. Number 7. Vampire Bat there are three species of vampire bats. The common vampire bat, the white-winged vampire bat, and the hairy-legged vampire bat, which has a pretty bizarre name when you think about it. These bats are found in parts of Central and South America, where they inhabit diverse ecosystems from rainforests to arid regions. What sets vampire bats apart from other bats is, of course, their diet. While most bats feed on insects or fruits, vampire bats have evolved to feed on and they're highly specialized in obtaining their meals from other animals, primarily livestock and wildlife. Contrary to popular belief, vampire bats do not exclusively target humans, and in fact, they rarely feed on them. But we didn't say never. Vampire bats have adaptations that facilitate their feeding lifestyle. They possess razor-sharp incisors, which they use to make small incisions in the skin of their prey. They have an anticoagulant in their saliva that prevents the clotting, allowing them to lap up that flows freely. To locate their prey, vampire bats rely on heat sensors in their noses, which help them detect warm animals and precisely locate vessels. While vampire bats are known for their feeding habits, it's essential to note that they play an ecological role. They help control populations of livestock pests, like ticks and flies, which in turn reduces the transmission of diseases among animals. Additionally, their saliva contains compounds with potential medical applications, like anti-clotting agents and anticoagulants that may aid in the development of new treatment. So they may turn out to help us more than terrify us in the end. Number 6. Snub-Nosed Monkey The snub-nosed monkey is recognizable by its upturned, flattened nose and striking appearance. Their facial features set them apart from other primate species, which give them a certain charm. These monkeys inhabit the rugged forests and steep cliffs of China, Myanmar, Vietnam, and Tibet. They're capable of withstanding extreme cold and harsh weather conditions. Their dense fur provides insulation against the cold, and their physiology enables them to navigate the challenging terrain of their mountainous habitats. The snub-nosed feature of their nose serves a purpose beyond aesthetics. It's believed to help reduce the risk of frostbite by minimizing the surface area that's exposed to extreme cold temperature. This adaptation allows snub-nosed monkeys to thrive in their challenging alpine habitats. Number 5. Goliath Tigerfish in the wild waters of Africa's rivers and lakes, an apex predator lurks, the Goliath tigerfish. With its fearsome appearance and predatory prowess, this fish commands attention and respect as one of the most formidable freshwater species. What sets the Goliath tigerfish apart is its formidable set of razor-sharp teeth. Rows of large, interlocking teeth line its powerful jaws, capable of inflicting severe damage on prey. With its lightning-fast strikes and incredible strength, it preys on a variety of aquatic creatures, including other fish, birds, and even small crocodiles. The Goliath tigerfish is known for its agility and speed in the water. It's highly efficient as a hunter, using its keen senses and powerful muscular body to swiftly chase down and capture prey. Its large, muscular tail propels it through the water with incredible force, allowing for rapid acceleration and sudden directional changes. Found in various African river systems, Systems, including the Congo River and its tributaries, the Goliath tigerfish inhabits fast-flowing waters and deep pools. 
These habitats provide ample prey opportunities and ample cover for the predator to ambush its victims. Number 4. Deep Sea Giant Isopod The Deep Sea Giant Isopod is a close relative of the familiar terrestrial woodlouse or pillbug. However, unlike its small land-dwelling counterparts, it's evolved into a giant, growing up to 16 inches in length. Its intimidating size and armored exoskeleton make it a pretty scary presence in the deep sea. The deep sea giant isopod is notable for its scavenging lifestyle. In the depths where sunlight is scarce, this isopod relies on its sense of smell to detect decaying organic matter, like dead animals that sink to the ocean floor. It uses its powerful jaws to break down the tough tissue and extract valuable nutrients. The deep sea giant isopod's ability to survive in an environment with limited food resources is pretty impressive. It can endure long periods of starvation, slowing its metabolic rate and conserving energy until a food source becomes available. Number 3. Blue Dragon Despite its small size, this mollusk, scientifically named Glaucus atlanticus, possesses striking colors and adaptations that make it a pretty amazing creature. The blue dragon, also known as the sea swallow or blue sea slug, is a species of nudibranch, a type of soft-bodied marine gastropod. The blue dragon has the ability to harness the venomous stinging cells of other organisms for its own defense. It preys upon dangerous creatures like the Portuguese man of war and stores the venomous cells, known known as nematosis, in its own body. These stored cells can be used as a potent defense mechanism against potential predators. Another adaptation of the blue dragon is its ability to float on the ocean's surface, resembling a tiny sailboat. It has gas-filled sacs that allow it to remain buoyant, drifting with ocean currents. This adaptation allows the blue dragon to cover vast distances, in turn increasing its chances of encountering prey or suitable habitats. Number 2. Goblin Shark Okay, let's take a look at another strange beast from the deep, the goblin shark. The first thing you'll likely notice is its jaw structure. Its jaw can rapidly extend outward to capture prey, providing it with a surprising and formidable strike. This mechanism, combined with rows of sharp teeth that are capable of puncturing and gripping prey, allows the goblin shark to secure its meals with serious precision. Encounters with the goblin shark are rare, as it resides in the depths of the ocean, beyond the reach of sunlight. Its habitat extends from approximately 330 to 4,300 feet below the surface, where the pressures are extreme and the light is scarce. It's through deep sea exploration and occasional accidental captures that scientists have been able to study this mysterious creature. Number 1. Zombie Snails in the realm of parasites and bizarre behaviors, the zombie snails take center stage with their eerie and macabre existence. These snails are not your typical garden-dwelling gastropods. Instead, they fall victim to a sinister manipulation by a parasitic worm. The life cycle of the zombie snail begins innocently enough. Snails consume the eggs of the parasitic worm, which hatch inside of their bodies. As the larvae grow, they start to invade the snail's tentacles, altering their appearance and behavior behavior in a truly unsettling manner. The parasitic worm influences the snail's behavior to suit its own needs. Normally, snails are nocturnal creatures that shy away from the light. However, the infected snail becomes attracted to the bright light, making them more visible and exposed to potential predators. But that's not all. Things take an even more chilling turn. The parasite causes the snail's tentacles to become swollen and pulsating with vibrant colors, resembling caterpillars or juicy maggots. This gruesome spectacle isn't just a visual illusion, it's an intentional manipulation by the parasitic worm. The infected snails, with their pulsating and maggot-like tentacles, become irresistible to birds. The birds are tricked into thinking they've stumbled upon a tasty and nutritious meal. They seize the opportunity and consume the infected snails, unknowingly ingesting the parasitic worm along with them. The worm then continues its life cycle inside the bird, reproducing and producing eggs that are eventually expelled in the bird's droppings. The eggs can be consumed by other snails, starting the cycle anew. While the concept of zombie snails might seem like something out of a horror film, it serves as a striking example of the intricate and often disturbing relationships that exist in nature. Parasites have evolved remarkable strategies to manipulate their hosts for their own benefit, even if it means turning a snail into a grotesque marionette. Which animal fascinated you the most? And which one gave you the biggest chills? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.